she's excited because I'm going to show you the brassicas that we're growing just on the deck right now. Here is a little tree colored. I propagated it. It's doing quite fine in about a pot that's about a gallon and a half. Here's a purple tree collard, another one that I propagated. Look at that also in a pot down there, about a gallon and a half as well, and another purple tree collard. The thing is, a lot of you have asked me about brassicas. Oh, it's winter now. It's the time to grow them because they taste wonderful in the winter when it's cold. That is true, but we need to know more on what we're doing before we start planting seeds in the ground in the middle of winter. Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California. I'm gonna make a super short video on brassicas as I collect beautiful lettuce, bok choy, and brassica leaves for a salad tonight. I've had some questions on, oh, it's cold now, we should be growing brassicas. Well, let me explain this. This is a brassica that came up. It came up about a month ago. Really what you're supposed to do, if you're gonna start growing outside, it will depend on your frost state, you wanna make sure there's no more frost, you can start planting them outside. We're in winter right now. So to plant it outside may not work because if it's too cold, they're just simply not gonna grow. When people say that brassicas grow really good, here's one over here, in cold weather they do, but that means you've gotta get it established in the fall before the freeze comes. And once they set a super big root system and look at the root in there, that's when they will continue to grow even in the snow and produce beautiful green leaves. Look at this. And we are feeding off of that because I've got that in my hand. That's a hybrid. It looks like it's a cross between a collard and a broccoli. But the point is grow your brassicas at the end of summer, as the weather starts to cool, that's when you get them well established, whether it's container gardening or in the ground. And then in the winter, think about what brassicas you wanna start in the spring. And you can start some of them now, broccoli, different collards, but they may stress out before you get them outside. Putting them outside in the snow isn't gonna work. They need that root system before the snow comes. Now you can set them up maybe up against the house with, or something around like cement blocks or something, a place that's warm. It may work, but keep in mind, what you really want for the cold weather is a plant that is well established because they can go on for years and this way they can winter quite well, a lot of them, even with a little bit of snow and you'll get beautiful green plants and leaves to forage all winter. So think about which ones you want to start growing in the hot summer. That's when you start thinking about, well, let's think about brassicas for the winter. And then when winter comes, you'll already have plants well established in your garden. I hope that answered some questions on how to grow brassicas in the winter. Isn't that gorgeous? And we are in winter right now. And there are a few little ones around here trying to come up, but again, we're in Southern California and we don't have snow. We haven't even hit any frost dates yet. We've been at 42 degrees at night. Little seedlings may not come up if we were under snow. So that's what I just wanted to clear up with you. Have a great day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. And yes, I make brassica patties and are they good? But they got other stuff in them too.